beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to that. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. That's all to the song. Sing it from the depths of your heart. Let the weight of your glory fall let it cover all the earth Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. That's our desire. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. Can you sing it? Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover. Lord, let your Shekinah mantle us tonight. Let it cover all the earth. Come on, lift your hands, lift up the instruments. Let it cover all the earth. This is our desire, oh God. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let the weight of your glory. Let it 
Go ahead and worship him. Your presence is mighty in this place. Mighty in this place. Yeah. You're mighty in this place. You're mighty in this place. You're mighty in this place. Say, Maria, say, Maria, Mosuta, Baba, 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 Shama na 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 ma soto bakata balala bakata brenda gade rakata balala se baba barada balala balala bo so balala balala bo sumaria na 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 eh yeah kana mo se na 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 bo se na 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 bo rakata balala balala bo se na 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 bo Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings. Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings, awesome are you, Lord. Shima na 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 mosi na na na. Awesome are you, Lord. King of kings, mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings, say, mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings, mighty are you, Lord. Oh, he arises as a man of war tonight. Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. Kappa te kappa. Sen te kappa. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings. Mighty are you, Lord. Sen anamali anamos. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings. Awesome are you, Lord. Awesome are you, Lord. Awesome are you, Lord. King of kings. Awesome are you, Lord. King of kings. So let it rain. Let it rain. Would you open? The flood gates of heaven, let it rain, let it rain. Would you open the flood gates of heaven? Listen, I hear the rain, I hear the rain. He's opened the floodgates of heaven. Tonight we see the rain. We see the rain. He's opened 
the floodgates of heaven let it rain let it rain open the floodgates of heaven go ahead and worship let it rain open Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. I hear the rain. I hear the rain. It's open. The floodgates of heaven. Lord, we hear the rain. We see the rain. Let it 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 rain. Go ahead and pray in the spirit. Rada balanda brede kete brosso to balono makate brege de balada ba. Se kete pronto sko brosko balada ba riana balada ba. Mama la 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 mo suba ya na 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 na. Se gala la mo suba ya da balada da 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 ba. Hallelujah. I arise with healing upon my wings, say the Spirit of God. I arise with healing. I arise with healing. I arise with healing. The healing power of God is in this place. I arise with healing. Adonai, Lamb of God, forget about the rain and worship. You are worthy, worthy of my praise. King of kings, Lord of lords, let your kingdom reign in my heart. Adonai, yeah. Adonai, Adonai, Adonai. Sing it together, Adonai. Shibala bala la ba korada bala da ba. Zibron dogo bala kapres ke bata bala da ba kata prada gede bala de bosh. Zikete ba karia da baranda basko prando go pashki ba. Stebele de ba kada prande gede bala da bala kada bala kaso do ba koto prande kete. Zeke de gede ba kada bala kada bala da ba. Go ahead and pray in tongues. Edify your spirit. 
Zata prata kata balada bakata prata kata balada bakoso frondo gotosh. Shakata bara bada balada bakata praga de balada bos. Mam prata kata prata kata kata balada bakoto fras de banda. Shakata balada bos. Ekata pros de bande kili baria ta baria da baba baba baba. Shakoto baka praga de balada bos. Ekrata kata leko soposi bada kata. Shakata rakato skopondo goto pros de balada ba. Mekane baske priya da balada baske prondo shubai. Rabe de gade balada ba goto fraga da balada ba. Aparete ba goto pros ko prendi gade ba. Lekata pros ko bondi kreski ba lekate. Shoproto goto preka te balada ba kate fa. Shoto ba goto preka te le ba goto prendi gade. Shaka daga 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 bala daba kaso to praga daba bala daba kaso daga daba daga daba skapa da shaka daba kapa rata ba shaka kata ba kata ba 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 shaka daga soto ba kaso ba kata bala daba mente prata kata praka kata kata ba kata ba lende kaso to ba kato friend daga de ekrata kasi kata le kato ba kato praga daba ba ba me kata pros kato ba kata le kate shaka daba friend daga daba pros ko pros ko ba. Raka da ba leka da pra te ka da ba la da ba leka da pro dos ko pro to ko to bosh leka da pra te ka da pra ska da ba ka te leka da pro sko ba 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 pray 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 build your spirit make intercessions let te te pro sko ba ta ba la da ba make contact with heaven leka to sko pro ka ba ska ba re te ko ska da ba rise through prayer. Le bronze ke bosha bal ke bronze ke bariata me kete bronze ko bala bada bada kete she kete le bosha supratia da bash take charge over the heavenlies shente bronze ki bati kata ta 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 pa kata she kata ta ta pa kata bala da bos men ought always to pray and not to faint shoto to koto pro koto polo do bo koto fresh de kete bali bati abala bati. I release upon you the spirit of prayer and supplication. Makata prakata parakate, shakata bakata prokoto poko shakate, shakate rekate makapos kambatia. Ekrakata gade gade bagade bagade balada bakaso to poko to bagade gade. Makapa koto sho poko to balaba. Mente prata kata lekate boska. Emprot ke boska bande ke boska boska. Lekate poko so proto koto bagade. Make it a protis kabaria da bas kam pros ke bos ekrata ta ta poko to pros ke ba 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 leka te ba korasi ke te ba la da ba shaka te pros ku ba ri ke te zinde ke te leka te ba 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 super ba ba ka te ba la da ba ka ti ke te ba la da ba come on pray koinonia zike te ke te ba 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 Shekatele baka pronze pata katai. Shekatele baka taba ba 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 ba. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Shekatete de baladabash. Don't be tired. This is part of the meeting. This is koinonia. Abrande kabara tos kopra di balada ba. Bala bala boso produce balada ba. There's an army rising up. There's an army. Rising up, there's an army. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. 
Lift your hands, everyone. Sika pata tabala daba. Lift your hands. Sika parente kabala daba shika tai. Mande krada la pako prondos kubali karya tai. Zete parata parika tai. Zekata report sukotoi. Shikele po sataya. Keep your hands lifted up. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to be touching men, touching women. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. From the front to the back. The power of the Holy Ghost. That's what happens when we worship. Yeah, yeah. The Lord is breaking limitations. The Lord is breaking limitations. Breaking limitations. Breaking limitations. Breaking limitations. Hallelujah. 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 Please hold your hands all across the building. In the next five minutes, we're going to pray in tongues. The Lord is doing something in this place tonight. I began to sense this right from the morning. Hold your hands together. In the next five minutes, I'd like you to pray. Instrumentalists, don't stop praying. We're going to pray in tongues. Listen, within these five minutes, there will be a bursting. Something will break open. As you pray, for many of us, there will be a release of very deep spiritual virtues. This is not just ordinary prayer. Trust me. Hallelujah. Break every chain. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands. Lift your voice. Go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit. The Bible says, while they prayed, the Holy Ghost said unto them, Separate me, Paul and Barnabas. Lord, as we pray tonight, let there be impartations, let there be openings, Openings of portals, openings of vessels. Pray, pray. So toke teke teke pakata. Bambra teke te poko so prekete. Pray like a priest. Pray like a priest. Skete baka pra teke te. Sete la paria da pakataya. The Holy Ghost is engaging your spirit man. The Holy Ghost is engaging your spirit man. Right to the back. Make sure you pray. Spiritual doors are opening. Spiritual doors are opening. I see spiritual doors opening. Spiritual doors are opening. Access, access, access. 
access is being given to men access to deep spiritual things access access is being given to men Access in the spirit. Access in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. He told Jacob, for as a prince, you have fought with God and prevailed. Come on, lift your voice and pray. There's an army They are rising up They're rising up 
Vedana me. We are rising up. Vedana me. Rising up. We will break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Tell me, what can I do? I can live without you. I can live without you. Tell me, what can I do? I can live. There's a part of I want to sing. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, lift your voice. Chant it in the spirit. Oh. the voices sing it one more time from the depth of your heart hallelujah This is koinonia, an experience of intimacy with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There's a family that has been on my mind. I don't know if they are here. The family with the... Is it the mad person now? Or the, are they here? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We're in for an experience tonight. I began to see this right from the morning. I'm telling you, chains are breaking. Chains are breaking. I still hear this in my spirit. Chains are breaking. 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 Shabba Oh, let the chains break. Every chain over everyone here. Every chain. Every chain. Every chain. Every assault of darkness. Every chain. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every chain. Every chain, every chain is broken right now. Chains of habits, chains of limitations. Hallelujah. You're the person. Please confirm it. Where's the family that there was a there are people that spoke to me about someone they are not here someone who got mad or psychosomatic it's not a word of knowledge there is a family that i'm supposed to minister to here okay if they are not around that's okay why are you here your brother your elder brother what's wrong with him come how many years seven years where is he at home 
I'll pray the Lord will use you as a point of contact. Lord Jesus, let your power touch the brother, even through him, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me many ladies with abdominal pain. Just place your hand there right now. The Lord is showing me many people, especially ladies. Hallelujah. I'm just going to rebuke it and I see like, like they look like guns, but it's fire, literal fire. It will live and it will hit you and that is the end of it. Thank you, Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, right now, I cause that pain. Go now. Go now. 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 Every devil of darkness responsible for every pain, I cause you now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Be healed right now. Be healed. The power of God is healing them right now. Right now. Right now. You may not even know right now. The sign is that it will touch you. It must touch you. You can't stand on your feet. If you are part of this list, it will touch you. That's what the Lord is showing me. I cause that pain. I cause that spirit of infirmity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Everyone lay your hand on your chest. The Lord is going to rebuke blood conditions right now. Blood conditions. Blood conditions. Blood conditions. All those who are part of it, there will be this same fire. It will come upon you in a mighty way. It's a sign that you are the one God is touching. This is not something vague. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Right now, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, blood conditions, I speak to you. All those affected, may the fire of God set you free. Now. 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 Now the power of God is touching people. Right now. Right now. I cause that devil. I cause that devil. I cause that devil. I cause that devil. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I cause that spirit. I cause that spirit. I see visions of the spirits of infirmity. Living people. Living people. Living people. In the mighty name of Jesus, I cast that spirit. The Lord is showing me two ladies. And I'm seeing a guy. You have a problem with sleeping. You don't sleep. No matter what happens, you don't sleep. You just stay awake and sleep never comes. Where are they? Two ladies I see the Lord showing me. Please, let's save time. And one guy. Please save time if, if, if you are the one, just so that save us all of the time. How long has it been? Huh? Six months. How about you? Huh? I'm seeing your hands chained. Your own situation. There's, there's one more lady. The Lord is showing me. There's still one more lady. There's one more lady. The Lord is showing me. Hallelujah. Come, I have to pray for you. Yours is more than a sleep problem. Hold my hands. I cost this chains. In the name of Jesus Christ, let her go right now. And I break by the power of the Holy Spirit, this spirit that causes you not to sleep. You are set free in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah. 
How many months? Six months. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be free right now. You will begin to sleep normally in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is touching someone's ear right now as I speak. The Lord is touching someone's ear. You will literally feel as though a cotton bud is put in your ear and all of a sudden it will open up and become clearer. Thank you Lord Jesus. I give you praise. Thank you Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is healing a lady of a breast lump. You began to see this. You've not even shared it with many people. Breast lump is living right now. Right now. Dissolving and going back to hell never to return to you again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are four people. Listen. There are four families that as I speak right now, the angel of the Lord is going to their homes and is causing major breakthroughs. Listen, listen. It's not, it's not just prophecy for everybody. Four exact people. One, there are four of them. Two, the angel of the Lord literally, literally, literally is entering these homes and they are receiving dramatic breakthroughs dramatic breakthroughs the Lord is showing me over 10 people and I see academic chains this is what I see 10 people 10 people and this is not your fault 10 people I'm going to begin to count 1 to 10 and goodness it's like fire 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 I cast those spirits 2 3 4 5 Six, kapototo badakata. Seven, eight, nine. I cast those chains. I cast those chains. I cast those chains. It comes to an end. I tell you, it comes to an end. That chain breaks now and forever. It comes to an end. Hallelujah. Let's just flow with what the Holy Spirit is doing. If this is all he does tonight, that's all right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing two eyes in the spirit and God wants to open up at least 19 people here in the realm of visions and supernatural experiences. Listen, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, prophetic fountains, those eyes in the spirit, sheketata parata. Sheketete pokotosh. At least 19 people, at least 19 people, Shataka Bariata, fire, physical fire coming upon your eyes, physical fire coming upon your eyes. Open them up, oh God, to these dimensions of supernatural revelations. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the angel of the Lord. And God wants to cause barrenness from two families. Now, two families right now. 
just two families father wherever these families are represented right now let your power visit and set them free now hallelujah lift your hands this row all of you here just lift your hands hallelujah lift your hands from the front right to the back there are people that God again is visiting their families 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 God is bringing breakthrough right now right now just this row Lord in the name of Jesus let those families let the angel of the Lord there are angels walking through this crowd right now right now right now in the name that is above all names angels of the Lord walking to families performing specific miracles specific miracles specific miracles specific miracles hello give madonna hello give madonna Hello, Gim Madonna. Hello, Gim Madonna. Hello, Gim Madonna. Hallelujah. I cast that spirit from this lady in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands. There are some devils that need to leave this place right now. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, listen. God is bringing mighty deliverance for people now. Every service is miracle service. Are you getting my point now? We're going to shout that name Jesus. My goodness. I'm telling you, major deliverances that will bring breakthroughs. Breakthroughs. The symbol. Hallelujah. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name. I command every devil and every spirit every act of witchcraft and divination in the name of jesus and at the count of three they must come out of their hiding places and go never to return are you ready now one two three i cause devils now i cause spirits now i cause spirits every wicked spirit out of God's people out of every family now I break spells I break witchcraft I break the power of divination bring them out bring them out I cause that power it's not just them, families, their families. I set fire, fire, fire upon altars. I set fire upon I set fire upon Hallelujah. Lift your hands again. God is visiting families. This is not about you. All the people here are representing families. Lift your hands. Oh, 
the fire of God must fish them out there is no hiding for any spirit at the count of three you will shout that name at the top of your voice and a sword of the spirit will go to your family there must be deliverance tonight are you ready now one two three Hallelujah. The Bible says, How awe inspiring are your ways? It says, Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. All the people you see here, they are representing their families. God is stepping into families. Those doors must be open. I see ancient gates in the spirit. Ancient gates. And I'm about to command them to open. Listen. When I command those gates to open, those affected, you will feel it physically. These are the gates that cause limitations over people and families. But in the name that is above all names, I come tonight under this apostolic and prophetic anointing. <laughs> Gates of abundance, gates of advancement. I command you be open. I command you be open. Hallelujah. Any family, lift your hands, that is tied down by any kind of limitation. I don't care what it is. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, if that spirit has survived anywhere else, in this place, this is the mount of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command those doors open now. I command those doors open now. Doors of breakthrough be open now. Doors of breakthrough be open now. Doors of breakthrough be open now. Doors of breakthrough. Be be open now Amen. by the force of the spirit be open now be open now be open now be open now hallelujah Say after me in the name of Jesus. Name Come on, Jesus. shout it, shout it. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. I, declare I declare that every force, that every force stopping, the stopping the advancement of my family 
by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Live now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Pick up your Bibles, Daniel chapter 10. The devil is in trouble tonight. Daniel chapter 10. You have come for koinonia. It's an experience. It's a mountain. Something must change about your life. Daniel chapter 10 verse 10 and behold an hand touched me and set me upon my knees and upon the palms of my hands and he said unto me O Daniel a man greatly beloved understand the words that I speak unto thee and stand upright for unto thee I am now sent. And when he had spoken this word to me, I stood trembling. Verse 12. Then said he unto me, Fear not. Daniel had been fasting and praying. He said, For from the first day that thou didst set thy heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard. And I am come to thee for thy words. Verse 13. But the prince, listen, but the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. And lo, Michael, one of the chief princes came to help me. And I remained there with the kings of Persia. Listen, the Bible says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Then it says against principalities against powers then against rulers then against spiritual wickedness they do not operate in the earth realm the bible says they operate in the heavenlies this prince of persia was the territorial spirit across the land of persia so when gabriel was bringing the answer the solution that prince stopped him. I have been put in charge of this territory to make sure that breakthrough does not come to men. To make sure that men are not lifted. But there was a man in the earth realm who kept praying. And while he prayed, it was on the strength of his authorization the, from the arsenals of heaven, the archangel Michael had to come because he's the archangel in charge of war. We are going to pray tonight. Every land has territories. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Every land has territories. And there are spirits. Those of you who have listened to the message, give me this mountain. There is a spiritual dimension to life. And there are, met, there are certain things that will never manifest in your life until you prevail in prayer. Jacob held on to him. He said, I will not let you go. He said, leave me for the day break it. He said, no way. He said, what is thy name? He said, Jacob. He said, your name will be changed to Israel. For as a prince, you have power with God. And you have prevailed. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Don't let anybody fool you. And tell you what we just read. Was the Old Testament. And in the New Testament, when you pray, it just comes. It, 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 it makes... Listen. The kingdom of God is a system. The earth realm is a system. Are you getting my point? It is as soon as Zion travails, hallelujah, that she will put forth. There is a birthing. This is the ninth month. If you didn't come to pray tonight, I'm so happy about the rain. 
because you won't go anywhere. We are going to pray. Ah. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray now? Yes, we are going to pray. Listen. We are going to confront powers. Zechariah chapter 1, please, quickly. Zechariah chapter 1, verse 18. Zechariah chapter 1, verse 18. Then I lifted up my eyes and I saw, and I beheld what? Four horns. A horn is a symbol of authority. Next verse. And I said unto the angel that talked with me, What be these? What are these horns? And he answered me, These are the horns that have scattered Judah. These are the horns that have scattered Jerusalem. These are the horns that are making your father to never reconcile with your mother. These are the horns that make finances to stop when it's about to come. These are the horns hindering the gates of marriage. Verse 20. And the Lord showed me four carpenters. Then I said, what come this to do? He said, these are the horns that have scattered Judah. Judah means praise. These are the horns that have robbed you of your testimony, of your joy. He said, so that no man does what? Lift up his head. They have put a barrier around your family and your life. And they have said, no man will lift up his head. So every time you want to lift up your head, there are horns. They station them. Hear me and take seriously what I'm saying. They have drawn the boundaries. Man, takata. Goodness. I tell you, I sense deliverance fire in this place tonight. Oh, those horns must leave. For sure. There are horns stationed across territories. To make sure that men do not rise. Some of you, this is a limitation. You are the first person in your family to get to the university. There are horns. But tonight, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are going to step out and put on our priestly regalia. We are going to confront the heavens. He told Job, he said, Hast thou commanded thy morning? Did you speak into the heavenly territories? Did you command the things to align themselves? We are praying tonight. The Bible says the stars fought for Deborah. She was a warrior and the constellations arranged themselves to make sure that enchantments could not go to the heavens. Lift your voice. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Come on now. You have to be more serious than this. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. All right. That every power across my territory that wants to stop me and stop my family from rising up, I challenge you tonight. By the blood of Jesus, lift your voice and begin to pray. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Ministry 
of angels with blessed demand Hallelujah. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, we are praying tonight. Jude 1. Jude 1, verse 9. You will see tonight that Satan is interested in this body that you wear. Jude 1. Everyone read. Want to read. Hold on. Do you see Michael again? Michael in Daniel. Contending against powers. He shows up again in the book of Jude. Read on. Want to read. Hold on. He disputed about the what? Spirit. Soul. Body. Satan wanted the body of a man. Satan wants the bodies of men. Not just their spirits. Because without a body. Without a body. Demonic activities cannot be carried out. The church is called the body. That the Holy Ghost uses. It's called the body of Christ. The body. That the Holy Ghost wears. There is a law in this realm. That any spirit that does not have a body cannot function in this realm. So Satan wants the body of Moses. If he looked for the body of Moses, Moses in the Old Testament, how much more your own body? So he will afflict you. He wants your body. So he will manipulate your body and all kinds of objects moving around. But the Bible says, Know ye not. That your bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Know ye not. Listen. We are going to pray. I am establishing a prayer point. Jesus entered the temple. Which was his body. And he found out that there were strangers in that temple. Are you getting my point now? Those who should be in the temple were not there. And he found people doing business in the temple. There were transactions going on in his body. That's the same way Satan carries out all kinds of transactions in human bodies. And you hear people complaining. Objects are moving in my body. You see people sleep in the night and all kinds of devilish things come to oppress them. Tonight we are going to pray. Are you getting my point? Please if you are sitting except you are under the anointing stand up. And let's take some time to pray. You must get angry tonight and let's pray. Because something must break. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Lift up your voice. Say after me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare. I declare. That my body. Is the temple of the Holy Ghost. My body. My body. Belongs to Jesus. Therefore, every strange spirit attempting to hold on to my body, I command you right now, depart from my body now. Lift your voice and pray. Every stranger Every 
Every stranger this body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Pray, pray, pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everywhere the gospel was preached, Jesus demonstrated that he was not only interested in the spirits of men, but their bodies. What healing does to your body is what salvation does to your spirit man. Hallelujah. We are going to cause the root of sickness. I want you to get ready because the devil is in trouble. There's fire burning in this place this night. No matter how mad a man is, he does not enter fire by mistake in the name of madness. Are you getting what I'm saying? No matter how stupid a man is, in his insanity, he knows fire when he sees it. The Bible says he maketh his ministers wings. Are you getting my point? And his messengers flames, flames of fire. Every stranger in your body is about to leave. I don't care what it is called. Sickness is that. Let me tell you how you know that these things are demonic. Because many of us, when you pray on it, it will go. And then later on it will return. You are a lady, they pray for you. And then for one or two or three months, you find out that your period just comes normally. No pain, no nothing. And then in the fourth month, it backfires again. There are people, recurrent headache, all kinds of devils. A growth comes and then it goes. You pray and try to treat it, it goes. We are going to set it on fire right now. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Bible says, know ye not that your body. I showed you from the book of Jude. Satan was fighting with Michael over the body of Moses. Hallelujah. This body is your legal access for living and functioning in this realm. If it is battered beyond repair, your spirit will no longer be able to stay there and it will have to leave. So if Satan cannot get to manipulate your mind, he will batter your body in a way that your spirit cannot live and it will have to go. We are going to pray. Many of us, as you are praying right now, you will be surprised. Huh? Now is the time to pray all those. Hold on, please, one minute. Genotype. Huh? I've read my Bible from Genesis. Please listen. This is very serious what I'm sharing. There's no mention of any nonsense of genotype in this Bible. Have you read your Bible? There are many ladies right now, many guys, they cannot even get married. They can't think of anything because the devil put one rubbish embargo called genotype, SS, AS, and all of those rubbish. Now you want to get married or you want to settle down, they tell you no, health wise. Every parent is carrying their child and running away. The devil is in trouble tonight. We are going to pray. If he was not here, he should not be in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Believe what I'm saying. Whatever has affected this body has affected God's property. And we're going to pray and invoke his presence that he will rise in his jealousy and attack any stranger. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Many of you, as you pray, growth will disappear. See, 
the trouble is that many of us have been praying but we we of course i know not here but generally we we do not know the power of the corporate anointing psalm 133 talks of god depositing the blessing where people are gathered together in unity that's different from your personal prayer life are you getting my point now we are going to pray there are traits of infirmities around your family there are traits of infirmity in your life there are many of us all sorts of embarrassing conditions skin problems to the minutest to anything hear me no matter how small it is it is according to your faith tonight are you getting what i'm saying he said whatever my father has not planted whatever he has not planted he must be uprooted don't sit down and tolerate it what you tolerate in your body the devil will use it to destroy you but when you resist the devil the bible says he will flee lift up your voice we are going to pray again say after me in the name of Jesus Christ every sickness every infirmity every abnormality in my body hear the word of the Lord I command you to leave this body now I command you to leave this body now lift your voice and begin to pray Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2, verse 24 and 25. Joel chapter 2. Let's start from verse 23. Joel 2, verse 23. Shikata baba 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 baba. Mondo grotto goto baladaba. One to read. Verse 24. Verse 25. Shout it with all your heart. Shout. 
Shout it. Listen, listen, listen. We are still praying. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Based on the word of God. I place demand for restoration in my life, in my family. Hallelujah. We are going to pray that prayer again. You know the areas you want restoration. Please, we are not playing games tonight. The presence of God is here. Hallelujah. When we get to that party, we'll mention it. And we're going to pray. The Bible says, I will. It didn't say, I will send someone. I will supervise your restoration. Hallelujah. The years. We're going to say, Lord, turn the hands of time again. Turn the hands of time. Let that which the devil has stolen be restored. There are things that need to be restored tonight. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive, receive sevenfold restoration, seven restoration of everything the devil has stolen in my life. Now mention them. Your health, whatever it is. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and give him thanks. We bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Because our eyes will see the desires of our hearts and our hands will handle it. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please sit down. Just give me 10, 15 minutes and we're out of here. If this is all we have done tonight. It is worth it. There's no place for you to sit, stand, sit on the floor, sit anywhere. Go ahead. The service is already on. So, Please, there should be no vacant seat. There are still people standing. If the person is under the anointing. Let the person lie down on the floor and let someone use the seat. Hallelujah. Revelation is not knowing what the word of God has said. Revelation is knowing how to make it work in your life. Hallelujah. Revelation is not knowing what God has said. It's not even knowing that there is a kingdom principle. That's not revelation. Revelation is knowing how to make that principle work in your life. If it cannot work in your life, then it's useless. Hallelujah. See, we keep sharpening ourselves like this, like arrows in the presence of God we are sharpening ourselves because we are trusting God to attain a statue in the spirit 
where no power in existence can stop your fulfilling God's destiny for your life. You believe that? There is a generation that is depending upon our faithfulness. The Bible says, he that sows to the flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. And he that sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap life eternal. We're making investments in the spirit. We're laboring, we're traveling. You won't be surprised when you see your life and your prophetic destiny tomorrow. Because you will know that, yes, it is God's grace, but Paul said it this way, I am what I am by the grace of God. Right? But he said, this grace was not showered upon me in that I labored more than ye all. There is grace that manifests as the favor of God. And there is grace that manifests as supernatural empowerment to do. Hallelujah. The Lord is changing your life. I'm telling you. Gradually. The Bible says line upon line. Precept upon precept. Your value system. Your life. The quality of your Christian experience. It's changing. And then like the 71 day he will trust you with responsibilities he will send you and you will be shocked to see that he has built you to be his finest the finest of the finest of the best don't trivialize what god is doing in your life brothers and sisters week after week you're submitting yourself to the dealings of the spirit and it will translate into something in your life you may not look like it now see that there is no athlete who wants to look good when you are rehearsing have you seen an athlete like that you are conscious of your shoe let it not have mud. no 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 when when you are training you will see footballers get dirty and all of that but when they lift that trophy huh they can now dress and enjoy the celebration my Bible tells me that no man that warreth will entangle himself with civilian affairs. These trainings will prune you. It will, it, will, it will build you. Listen to me. It will challenge you. It will stretch you. It will provoke you. But when you submit to the dealings of the Spirit, the end of it is peace. Something will happen in your life that money cannot buy something will happen in your life that is not common you will now know that it is not common to be yielded to the spirit it's not a gift not everybody is interested there are many people who are born again but very few people are interested in the things of the spirit so god is teaching us we spend time now to pray and travel in the spirit you cannot imagine the levels of victory and so you would just step home and you see that doors begin to open and some of you your loved ones will not know they'll just say aha uh -huh, things are working well now things don't just work they are enforced in the spirit learn this learn this learn this one day it will change it's a waste of time Time does not change things. Are you getting me? Engaging kingdom principles. 38 years. That man was at the pool of Bethesda. In less than 5 minutes he got up. He would have remained there forever. So the word of God that you are receiving. You must believe it. Please hear me. You must believe it. If you are just sitting down. And watching every week. And just looking and hoping. That this word will make sense one day you may be deceiving yourself the bible says ever learning have you seen people like that they have all of the revelation but never coming to the comprehension of the truth depart from those kinds of people when you come into the presence of god give your heart it says meditate on these things give yourself wholly to them and it gives you an assurance what's the assurance that thy profiting may appear look let me tell you um you see 
if your life does not bear fruit after a particular time you will be frustrated because it's God that sees the heart men look at the outward appearance are you hearing what I'm saying men do not have the ability to see the heart so your Christian experience must translate into a testimony that glorifies the name of the Lord are you hearing what I'm saying if it does not your family members will never see the relevance of your commitment to prayer and to the study of the word the disciplines and the constraints of the spirit say my life will bear fruit say it my life will bear fruit brothers and sisters if you go to your house and there is a sick person and you have a revelation and you pray for that sick person stand up my brother and you pray for that sick person and the sick person stands up do you know that that is a sermon that is more than one year of beckoning up? You don't need to invite people and say, come for God. No, 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 no. The woman, at the, Samar the Samaritan woman said, come and see a man that has told me everything I've done. What is the result in your life that compels people to want to know about God? If your life continues to remain a barren wilderness, there is no reason why people should be attracted to your God. There was something that Ruth saw and she told Naomi. He said, my, your God will be my God. Hallelujah. It's not just for you to come and watch a man of God doing great things. No. It's to provoke your spirit and you go back with that anointing. You're not falling down for nothing. Say, I'm anointed. Say it some of you are even laughing at yourself say it it has nothing to do with fivefold ministry it has everything to do with being alive hallelujah and you step into your house you step into your place of work and you step in as an ambassador as an envoy don't let people mock your emoji emoji for nothing emoji emoji they keep calling you when there's trouble they pass you you are emoji as a nickname. No. Emoji, you say yes, and they pass you, and, and you are not contributing anything to the kingdom. Elisha said, Hi, I love that guy. He said, Let Naaman come and know that there is a prophet in Israel. Hallelujah. That there is a prophet in Israel. Can the devil look at your family and say, Ah! If, if only I can shift Zuera out of the way and like a big hen, you stay there and say you are invited. I have become a shield. He said, as for me and my house, for many of us, it's as for me and myself. It must translate beyond you. Are you getting my point? You shield others. You are minding your business and you see the devil trying to oppress somebody. You say, Satan is my business. It's my business. Whether you invite me or not, it is my business. You must let this person go. Hallelujah. Listen. It's not enough for you. Don't get used to seeing miracles, healings, deliverances, you know. In Koinonia, we are so used to miracles. When it happens, you just watch one of those things that's happened again. You see, it's a lesson. It's a handwriting upon your life. Are you hearing me? That God is challenging you and telling you that your life ought to be supernatural in every way. Not just by making noise and disturbing people when they are sleeping, praying in tongues. No, it must translate. It says, let your light so shine before who? Before yourself? Before men. You already know you have the light, but they do not know. He said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good deeds. And as a result, praise your Father in heaven. When was the last time someone spoke to you about his situation and he said, that's all right. That's all right. I come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you picked up your phone. You said, let's pray. Many of us, is just, hey, yeah. See, I just returned from Koinonia. It was powerful this night. Ah! You missed. And Ben said, I'm, I'm having a little stomach ache. Said, oh, it's like that. Let's, let's just lie down. It's too late. The chemist is closed. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. You need to get angry one day 
Are you hearing what I'm saying? As soon as you get home, you hear your sister saying, finally, my name came out. They are about to, to downsize me and, and, and do all of that. And you say, Toh, I'm sure that God knows how he will work things out. Look at what you are saying. You are the ambassador. You are the voice of God in that room. You must die. One of the things I've learned, listen to me. One of the things I've learned about working in the anointing is that you must die to your ego. Hello? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Many of us are so conscious. What if I, I tell the people God will bless you and God doesn't bless them? Tomorrow they will now see me and say, Pastor, that prayer, you know people are so funny. Pastor, you prayed and the prayer didn't work. Oh. And you feel stupid, you feel embarrassed. If I do well, God should take the glory. If nothing happens, who should take the shame? I, I answer me. Who should take the shame? So if you are taking the shame, you have been... Hallelujah. Go and pray for the sick person. Pray. Let the person die in your hands. No problem. Just pray. You now go and find out what is wrong with you. And then the person says, there's, there's one wound. If I open it, you say, ah, you wouldn't have even told me. Look, just quietly go to the hospital. Oh. Challenge your faith. Hallelujah. Say me, I'm not a man of God's wife. I want peace. I don't want to trouble Satan. Let him know. Take away, you see, I believe that our mindsets are changing. That mindset of, I don't trouble you, Satan. Don't trouble me too. Let's all mind our business. It does not work in this earth realm. Are you getting what I'm saying? It does not work in the earth realm. There are many of us, I would not be surprised that there are some of us who sit down like that. You believe that because you are not active in the things of the kingdom, when the devil comes, you will jump you and go and look for those who are really causing him trouble. And he said, the devil pass, please pass. I don't have anything. I didn't look for any trouble. It doesn't work that way. Satan does not disturb you because you have become a slave to him. Right? But you must, you must tear down the assaults of the devil over the lives of people. Say one more time, I'm anointed. Say it, I'm anointed. The Holy Ghost just took over this meeting. Let's just flow with the way he's... I'm anointed. Look at your hands. Everyone look at your hands. I know you have been insulting it. That it doesn't look nice. Forget about all those ones. Look at your hand. Whatever you have there is your hand. Whether it's rough or smooth, it's irrelevant. Just look at your hand. I'm talking about the spiritual, the spiritual content. I like you to say, my hands represent the hands of Jesus. They carry the anointing of the Holy Spirit. They can produce results and work wonders. Do you believe that? This is, God bless you, this is my mentality. This is my mentality. My hands are not just for eating. No. It's, there, is, there is something upon my hands. Jesus has placed his hands upon my own hands. Many of us, we keep falling down and rising, but we are not blessing anybody. I want to ask you a few questions. Just a few minutes and then we'll round up. Listen. How many of us believe we are anointed? We just said we are all anointed. The question I have for you tonight is, who has your anointing brought to the kingdom? Has your anointing been able to save anybody? I once was lost. Huh? Come brother. That this brother was lost and on the strength of the anointing that you have, whether it was to save him, to get him healed, he has now come into the saving knowledge of the kingdom. If your anointing, listen, I will tell you why many people do not see more of the anointing in their life. They want anointing. And the first question is for what? What do you want it for? So you'll be speaking and people will fall down. If that is your definition of the anointing, if that is your scope, you know, 
especially the youth we like power and, and there's nothing wrong with it you like the fact that you just sit down and say i'm speaking some of you while i was talking and things were happening you were it was as if you were pouring cold water in your body calm down the lord is speaking to you right now calm down if there is no passion in your hearts to see his kingdom come I am telling you now you do not need the anointing and you shall receive dunamis Acts chapter 1 verse 8 please project it for us and you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you and that power is to an end it says and you shall be what witnesses witnesses who is a witness who is a witness if Tosin slaps this gentleman and I saw it, what do you call me? A witness. If we go to the court, I say, Tosin, really slap, I saw it. So I'm a witness. The Holy Ghost makes you a witness. You were not there when Jesus died. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying? You were not there when Jesus died. Were you there? You were not there on the cross. But now you are standing to represent a message that you were not there physically. So the Holy Ghost says, at least I was, I, was, I was there. I was not in Jesus on the cross, but I was around. I saw everything. Let me partner with you. You do the talking, and then I will prove that you are not a liar. Are you getting what I'm saying? So you tell the sick that Jesus has healed you. All of this rubbish sickness is over. And the Holy Ghost says, yes, I was there on the cross by his stripes this guy has been healed and you stretch forth your hands and the holy ghost validates that your claims are true everyone say i'm a witness but the, the challenge is that many of us are not witnesses indeed you have roommates you have people in your workplace and there's no transformation no transformation the lord is speaking to us tonight hallelujah i may not have time to talk so much about it but I, I i really wanted to talk extensively on soul winning tonight when god just took over we give him praise hallelujah we give him praise because at least he visited people and he blessed people but the question i have for us is that who is coming to the saving knowledge of jesus christ because of the investment of the spirit upon your life there are many of us who are the only ones who are born again in our family. There are many of us, you leave people just in and you get up and carry your Bible and come for koinonia. And you are happy. Again and again, we've had people here, especially students, when they're in their final year, some of them get to find out about koinonia. It's not like they do not know, but for many people, the God of this world has blinded their minds. They don't care. Are you getting my point? And some of us just sit down, we just watch. And the devil keeps destroying these lives and then at a point where they have two or three weeks to get out of zaria then they come and you see them crying and wondering and getting angry with you and you say sorry it's okay now and then you don't do anything about it again the lord is speaking to us do you know why many ministries let me be sincere with you do you know why many ministries are small small in terms of membership and small in terms of impact look at every ministry that there is a rich investment of the ministry of the holy spirit they are committed to turning many into righteousness right and transforming lives why should i want the holy ghost in my life why should i want his anointing when i'm not interested in praying for the sick right when i'm not interested in 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 seeing people set free you see the church has reduced anointing to money hello hello and many of us are already becoming victims of this theology our concept of anointing is just power to prosper so i have the anointing meaning i have the anointing to prosper financially so you buy the car you buy the clothes you build the house you do everything and you say i'm anointed if you have ever doubt my anointing look at the fruits of my anointing car house will car go to heaven answer me 
will house go to heaven listen listen brothers and sisters we must begin to live having the passions of god in our heart there are many of us here we used to be committed to genuine evangelism genuine evangelism and we are allowing this this demonic wave of complacency in the church to just come around there are many churches i say this with all apology and due respect they cannot even remember the last time they made an altar call and they don't care correct they don't care to an extent that we can preach and look at many evangelical meetings and crusades right now on the crusade ground is money they are raising and doing miracles as great as that is the end of all of these things is to see a soul not just saved in terms of the religiosity saved but lives transformed every society is a reflection of the quality of the mindsets that are there this is why we are passionate and committed we do everything that we do week in week out to make sure that souls are saved and lives are transformed you will notice that i've almost not missed any koinonia meeting no matter where i am no matter where i am i try to make sure that friday i am back you know why because this work is my primary assignment any external ministration is just an extension of the apostolic impact are you getting what i'm saying now but this is the core and some of you are pastors let me talk to you or some of you are men of god you have your church you are in a year you will only preach once or twice and members are just sitting down and being confused under different kinds of messages and theologies everybody coming with this i believe in the corporate impute of the body but the man the one that god has put as a shepherd you must stay and build the people you are constructing an ideology and it must be sustained so that the people are built in that ideology so that they won't be tossed through and full by every junk and every wind of doctrine there are some things when some of you here now you won't even pray about it is that true on account of what you have known the word of god comes to build you but when it builds you it creates a sense of responsibility you can't just be falling for nothing and then you stand up and you just clean your body and when you are going you say guy i fell today again oh. i've been falling the last three weeks this person said me too oh. this thing i don't know how it works that's not the goal it's not a thing to just it's, it's it's for you how many of you here have have sat down to say look bring five thousand bring five thousand let's make a very serious tract tract that is well edited and and has the kingdom not religion say i don't have a ministry you don't need a ministry you need passion you see that's the mindset we all have huh we believe that for impact to ever happen you must have a ministry so three friends come together they bring the five five thousand and say come let's settle this in. who is the jew of this group who is the real jew if they sow a seed now who does it go to that is to be carnally minded the bible says is death that's that's really what carnality is that you are already that see judas was not a bad person judas was a carnal person he looked at jesus and he had a business idea the name of his business idea was jesus how he can use jesus christ and make money that was all that was why he didn't even use the money he thought that when they come to catch jesus christ he would do his majestic thing again when he found out that that thing had backfired he died he killed himself how many of us here we are on facebook some of us some of us are on twitter some of us are and we well not 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 many i say this for the sake of those who will be listening to the message there are many of us it's just rubbish if you are happy today everybody will know on facebook that you are happy joyful the sun is shining tomorrow if you are angry this world what a dark place your whole your whole emotional life on display idleness we don't live with the consciousness of the kingdom as you are laughing please take seriously what i'm saying hallelujah 
Yet we want to see the glory of God in our lives. What is wrong with using your posts and say, Lord, I may not be a man of God. I may not have the power to heal the sick now, but I commit myself. Is that true? To making sure that every week one soul is saved. I must come for koinonia with somebody. Sister, how has your beautiful face translated into soul winning in the kingdom? Let me talk to ladies. Your beauty is either bringing people into the kingdom or taking people out of the kingdom. Is that true? There's nothing as neutral. So the brother sees you and says, Sister, you are very fine. Say, we give glory to the, the name of the Lord. I'm inviting you. Let me use this opportunity and invite you. If you are afraid of talking to the person about Jesus Christ, some of us, once they just say you are beautiful, just say, ah, let me not bring Jesus into it. As if Jesus is putting sugar inside food. You know, it's as if, let me, let me serve this moment now. It doesn't come every day. Let me enjoy it. Jesus, stay away. Let me not bring any religiosity. And then, the Lord watches you from the throne and says, you pray, you want a ministry. You want a ministry where you are everywhere. You want an international ministry and God sees your heart. And he knows that there are some levels of the anointing. If we give this person, you are going to be a disaster to the kingdom. And he measured a thousand cubits. That man was there until he proved that he was faithful. Then another thousand cubits was measured. There are some of us, even if you fast for 100 days, I am telling you, more anointing will not come until you step up your passion and your, and your reckless abandon for the things of the kingdom. We are afraid of being looked at as being fanatical. Right? So many of us, I'm not a man of God, please, please, I can, I can so see it. You know, there's this theology people teach. There are those who give. There are those who preach. Many people say I'm in the category of the givers. No, everybody is in all three categories. You must give. You must pray. You must preach. Hallelujah. Don't just say me, I'm a giver. And then, because the man of God really needs money desperately. He said, you are doing the same thing with me. You who is giving me and preaching is all the same thing. It's true that it's the same thing, but if it's the same thing, it means you can switch. It's still the same thing. Preach to! Who has changed because of you? How many of us does your presence judge sin and iniquity? Listen to what I'm saying. Does your presence, I'm not talking of condemnation, right? I'm not talking of condemning people and just writing people off. That's, 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 that's something else. That's a theology that came from hell. But does your presence judge sin and iniquity truly? That someone wants to do something bad and your presence is an inconvenience to the person. For some of us, your presence is a, is a catalyst. Let's say, hey, thank God you have even come, sir. And then let me not even, let me not just bypass this. How many of us have truly made up our minds to part with iniquity? Listen, listen. Please do not ever think that there is a way of negotiating your way into intimacy with God. If you really want authentic power, iniquity must be far from you. When I talk of iniquity, you, you know what I'm talking about. It must be far. Don't say it does not matter. Don't say it does not matter. I'm repeating it. You must hear me. Don't say it does not matter. You will never walk in authentic power. That's why a lot of people cast out demons. The demons cast them too. Because they know that Jesus said, Satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself. We joke around with the issue of sin and iniquity in the body of Christ. And then we believe that because God is gracious, right? Iniquity is what will give Satan access to your life, your state of heart. Iniquity is not just sleeping around or drinking and smoking. They are fruits of that iniquity. Iniquity is a state of heart that is perpetually rebellious towards God and the laws of the kingdom. The 
psalmist said, if I cherished iniquity in my heart, the Lord would not have heard me. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? He said, he that has clean hands and a pure heart. When there are still Christians, give him bribe and take him bribe. You will never see the hand of the Lord. Don't say it does not matter. You want job. Somebody is saying, bring 250,000 and you are happy. Say it's like that. It's Nigeria, please. Don't bring any church thing here. Bring it home. Bring it. Because you are the... Don't try to dichotomize your life and say, this is my social life. This is my spiritual life. What is the meaning of that nonsense? In one of the revelations, the four living creatures were in one body. Huh? Four dimensions functioning in one body. We must be far from iniquity. It has been the ancient key to the presence and the power of God. And by the grace of God Almighty, we will not water it down in Koinonia. We will preach the full gospel. I will tell you the truth. The secrets that bring the glory and the presence of God. There are many of us, we watch all kinds of nonsense. We think it does not matter. Look at, look at the way your mind is. Huh? You can't look at a beautiful lady and just go free. As soon as they are sharing the grace, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, you feel like starting another service for yourself because you have, you have polluted your mind watching all kinds of nonsense. It's a culture. It's a sacrifice. Am I blessing you tonight? Oh yes, it's a sacrifice. There are many of us ladies, anybody, you can even be walking on the road, somebody will just park and say, enter. You say, oh, really? Let me enter first and find. What sort of, don't you live by values? Everybody say values. Say it, shout it, values. As a kingdom citizen, never forget this. We live by values. You may see us jump around, but let me tell you, the love of God constrains us. Hallelujah. Sister, let people be able to look at your life and say, how can a beautiful lady like this not be loose? And he said, no, I may be beautiful, but I have sold, I'm, I've given myself like a love slave to God. That I'm beautiful. You know, many brothers see our beautiful ladies. You know Koinonia has pretty ladies, right? Brothers, say amen. amen. They are your wives too, so say amen. amen. But listen to me now. The issue here is that before the transition between now and when they become your wives, you must mind yourself and discipline yourself and be a genuine Christian. Hallelujah. Brothers, let me give you a little secret. If you don't mind yourself with respect to ladies, I'm not talking of sleeping around ladies. Men that are overconscious about ladies never encounter the presence of God powerfully. I'm not talking of sleeping around. You are just thinking. It's, it's, still, it's still the same thing. You are, you are stopping your mind from entering certain dimensions of the secret place. I'm not saying frown at any lady after corner and saying, mm, I'm pressing into God. No, that's not what I'm saying. There are many of us, our own encumbrances is what I call carnality. What you wear. You can be thinking of what to wear for Koinonia from Saturday. Which one will I wear? Let me add, it's, it's good. We believe in excellence, but be careful lest it corrupts your time. We believe in excellence, but let me tell you, it's better to wear bathroom slippers and come and focus and flog it out with destiny and change your life. Who cares whether you wear your Versace or Gucci, thank God, but demons can bypass that Versace and oppress your life. And that's what we are trying to tackle in this place. Are you getting what I'm saying? When you take care of your spiritual life, then you can beautify your body. On the other hand, let me balance it. On the other hand, there are some of us that are careless about our, our bodies. We, we do not know that it's still part of spirituality. Right? What you wore yesterday, you just look at it, smell it, it's not very smelly. You just carry it and you're on your way to Koinonia. No. Be intentional about your coming here. Don't make it look like it's a mistake. Be intentional. Plan. These are all aspects of the kingdom. Let everything about your life, neatness, 
neatness thoroughly some of us are very dirty the way you are sitting down looking at me like this your rooms there are still plates that all these things are i'm just showing you how that your life must draw people it will either draw people towards god or away from him and don't you say it does not matter the bible says add to your faith virtue the word virtue there is moral excellence say i'm changing especially if you really are say it i'm changing because some of you as god is speaking to you go back to your rooms and wash that plate this night wash it this night hallelujah if come sweetheart if i'm going to get married to this lady i'm taking my revelation of god together with all the unrenewed liabilities that i have i'm coming to say bring your own and and let's 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 wed in holy matrimony the question is are you going to be a blessing to your partner or the person will look at you and say had i known what deceived me what didn't i see huh say i'm a blessing the bible says in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed bless you you must be a soul winner from today whatever you will do to bring souls to the kingdom i say whatever in the positive way right don't go and do all kinds of babylonian things and say whatever let souls be one no in the kingdom the means is as important as the end i've taught you right because if if you say i am doing this and that so that souls will come i i allow the man to go for weekend with me because i'm trying to win him between now and the next one month he must be born again no no that's not that's not the kind of born again we're talking about praise the lord say in the name of jesus say in the name of jesus i become serious with my spiritual life in the name of jesus i lay aside every weight and everything that corrupts my christian testimony two more things i'll talk about and then we'll pray and we'll be done hallelujah i want to talk about two things i have seen across that stops many souls from coming to the kingdom number one is anger among believers write it i don't know where this impartation of the spirit of anger flew and came from there are many of your anger is not demons the demons left since february miracle service but the anger is still there anger rage it is an aspect of your christian life you must blot out you must blot out please write it anger you can be as calm as a dove but when you get angry you can give it to anybody there are some sisters right here in this place you would have been married since if only you address this issue if you like go to prophet apostle pastor teacher you must change that thing. there are some brothers here you don't have friends say i don't care i'm in a world all by myself you have beat everybody close to you because of anger your younger ones run away from you there's nothing about your life that is pleasing because of anger there are many pastors today the anger and the rage they have they can finish preaching even on stage they can almost slap the other person i said sing ten or what, what are you singing and you are wondering and then the guy turns and says, let's pray and he's looking i say number two immorality immorality let's bury this thing this night look at me look at me do not let anyone please 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 koinonia my conscience must be clear before god and i must tell you do not let anyone convince you convince you that a life of immorality you can be able to patch your christian experience and patch immorality i'm saying it now you must hear me in jesus name 
I'm, I'm telling you this from the depths of my heart. This meeting. Hallelujah. Colossians chapter 2. Look up, please. Do you realize that many families and many people have suffered things that they have no idea about? Now, I want you to listen carefully. Hallelujah. Because tonight we are going to be dethroning the works of darkness permanently. Are you listening to me? Let it not just be a name that you came for miracles. I came angry in my spirit. There's no, there's no time for discussion. There's no time for, for nonsense and explanations. I just want to give a, a basis. Because I came angry in my spirit. Hallelujah. The Lord began to show me how that many people and many families listen to me. Now, I understand that the Bible says we have been called from out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation. Hallelujah. But do you realize that Satan's ministry is to try to object the reality of the word in your life? Hallelujah. Although this is truth from God's perspective, Satan will not cross his legs and just watch things happen. Let me tell you something. I came angry in my spirit tonight because I realized that there are so many people Hallelujah. Who are the products of the scourging tongues and the covenants and ordinances of fathers and men. There are many people who are inheriting things and families. Stepping into sufferings that they have no idea of. Are you listening to me? Are you interested in what I'm sharing tonight? Hallelujah. There are so many people who are a product of... Of the wickedness and limitations of people. Tribes. Tongues. Geographical locations. And we stepped into levels of suffering that we cannot account for. Be it in your academics. Be it in your life. Be it in your relationship. Delays you cannot explain. Every time you pray. The wickedness of men. Although it is true that the Bible says that you have been called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation. You still see the mark of wickedness upon your life. Hallelujah. There are families today represented in this place. Whose parents have not been able to work meaningfully for decades. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm sharing with you my anger tonight so that faith will rise in your spirit. Hallelujah. There are so many people in this place. You have prayed. You have done everything you can do. Let me show you an interesting scripture. Colossians chapter 2. Let me tell you it will end tonight. It will end tonight. Many of you will be surprised. You will be surprised at the things that will happen to you. The Bible says the children shall not suffer the iniquity of the fathers. There are so many people who are products of the covenants and the wickedness of fathers. In the old covenant, it said that God will judge the iniquities of the fathers to the third and the fourth generation. But do you realize that on account of what Jesus Christ has done, the Bible says, if Colossians chapter 2, pick your Bible please. Because we need to challenge certain things tonight. Verse 14. Blotting out every handwriting. Hold on, look up. What handwriting? Do you realize that there are handwritings in the realm of the spirit speaking against families, lives, continents, now please, I'm not just trying to, you know, until God opens your eyes in the realm of the spirit, it's easy to jump and claim by faith and say you are free. But look at your life. Does it show that you are stepping into the liberty? First, it takes an encounter with revelation and then the power of God. Listen, there are some things that will not change in your life until they have a head-on collision with the power of God. Are you listening to me? 
said, For the children shall not suffer the iniquity of the fathers. Because you come from a certain geographical location, suddenly you find out that you cannot move forward again. Many of you are embarrassed to identify with the places that you come from because of the stigma and the spiritual handwritings that come in these geographical locations. You did not do anything. The Bible says, through one man, all of us inherited a nature of sin. We were not there when Adam sinned. But I need you to know the Bible says tonight that the children shall not suffer the iniquity and the wickedness of their parents. Spirit of the Lord is upon me tonight to set the captives free. Blotting out the handwriting. It says an ordinances that was against us which was contrary to us and he took it away nailing it to the cross look at me you need to realize truth from god's perspective this is where a lot of believers meet every time you study the word listen to me you see reality as a finished work from god's perspective but it's not yet finished in your life it takes faith to appropriate that reality in your now otherwise although it has been established in the world you will never see it in your life this is what a lot of believers do not understand the fact that you see let me tell you something there is Kenyon people like Kenyon call it the legal and the vital side of redemption there is reality from God's standpoint from God's standpoint no man should be in hell today because Jesus has died but are there still people going to hell why hallelujah it says forever thy word is settled where it didn't say in the earth it's settled in the heavens it takes faith and the oppression of the word of god to make it a present day reality in your life and that's why we're here tonight bible says blotting out every handwriting and ordinances that speak against us do you realize the power of covenants and spiritual things? Do you realize in this country that there are people who are suffering for the iniquities of fathers? And although it is true that you have been seeing it all the time, that you have been redeemed, called out of every tribe and tongue and nation, it's not just enough to be aware. You must rise up by faith and take it to become your present day reality. Hallelujah. There are people who sleep at night and see people come and all kinds of initiations and demonic things that happen on account of certain things. Do you realize that there are certain parents and people who dedicated clans? Some of you are coming from royal families. You are not aware of the implication of the things and the operations that have happened there. And while it is true that in Christ you have been separated into a new lineage, it takes faith and the operation of the power of God to vitally pick you and bring you into the reality of scripture. Otherwise you will keep quoting it, but you will see in your life that these things are the mark of the past and the ordinances of the fathers. How about the delays that happen in our families? Do the people not go to church? I have a question. Are they not, have they not had the message I'm, I'm preaching now? Why are they not married? Why are things not working? Do you not realize that there are people who a step to their blessing they will never get it. You keep pursuing it one step to your blessing. It always works for others until it gets to your point. The Bible says the children shall not suffer the iniquity of the parents. Hallelujah. I hope you don't argue and explain away what I'm saying because it is very important there are some of us who from 100 level till now have you seen people who write jam for over 10 years all they receive is missing script missing script for reasons they cannot explain he said the thief cometh not but to steal to kill 
and to destroy. But I am come that he may have life. To take you out of the oppression of Satan. Hallelujah. This is why we organize special services like this. To expose people to the miracle working power of the Holy Spirit. I know many people who say, my mother had hepatitis. And for whatever reason, I have hepatitis. Many people are SS today. They innocently inherited it. And although you have seen in God's word that the blood of Emmanuel flows in your veins, but you do not see the Bible. See, listen, the Bible says we do not yet see all things under his feet, but we see Jesus. We do not see all things. God's goal is that all things come under your feet. But he said we do not yet see all things. Jesus is the proof that all things can come under our feet. And it takes faith. Hear me friends. It takes faith. Otherwise you will confess and confess and not see that reality. Hallelujah. Everything that does not look like the word of God in your life and in your family will give way tonight for sure. Hallelujah. Kicking you from house to house, one landlord to another, every time you call. Hallelujah. It's time for us to truly enjoy the blessings of God. Hallelujah. It's time for you to have a testimony. Not one that was stage managed. A real testimony that you take and say, this is a testament that shows that the word of God works. Hallelujah. That God will change our lives and change our families. Hallelujah. Bible says it is vain to wake up early in the morning and to sleep late in the night. Only to eat the bread of sorrow. Is that not the testimony of many of our parents and our family people? They wake up early in the morning and they sleep late at night. And the only reward is the bread of sorrow. But have you not read in your Bible, it says, Whatsoever he doeth prospers. Am I challenging you tonight? John 8. Lord your people will be free all through my prayer time God kept emphasizing and said let the people go let them be free free from all of these ordinances John 8 Verse 32. Everyone read it. One to read. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Do you realize that the truth is not, an, is not just an information. It's a personality. And ye shall know the truth. Not just an information. You shall encounter as a man knows a woman. You will know one who is called the truth. And a product of your intercourse with him is freedom. And ye shall know the truth. I am the way. I am the truth. Reality. You will encounter a personality. And the result is that no devil, no demon, nothing can stand. Many of us just see truth as information. You must see truth as the presence and the activity of a personality. And ye shall know the truth. It says, and Adam knew his wife. And Abraham knew his wife. Now the Bible says, and ye shall know. There is a mingling. There is, there is an intercourse with the truth. As the spirit of God comes, he quickens something in your spirit. He said, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Liberty from what? Ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Shall make you free. 
Many of you are wondering what is he saying? Go to verse. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Go to verse 36. And let's prove what we are sharing. Everybody read verse 36. One to read. The Bible says you shall know the truth and that truth will set you. Now he said, if the son who is the truth sets you free, if you truly meet him and he sets you free, then be sure that you are free indeed. If the son shall set you free, free from every curse, free from the ordinances of men, for if the son tonight sets you free, truly you are free. If the son sets you free from your disease, from that blood condition, from that cancer, from HIV, from poverty, from delay. If the son sets you free, you are free. And so you have a responsibility to open up yourself to the truth. Spirit of truth, the Bible calls him. The one who introduces us to the presence of the truth. And the Holy Ghost is in this place. As we worship him, the Lord will set men free. Are you listening to me? Before we even start anything, I need to accomplish the first assignment tonight. Many of you will be surprised at the emancipation and the liberty that will come to you on account of this revelation. I'd like you to know, hear me, in Christ, in Christ, although you bear an Igbo, a Yoruba, a Hausa name, I need you to know that the moment you become born again, listen, listen, the moment you become born again, you are cut off, literally, not just spiritually. Are you listening to me? You are cut off from the limitations, the ordinances of the past. The Bible says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, that man is a new creation. Are you listening to me? You must realize that in Christ, your past and the ordinances of the past should have no grip. So if you come from a lineage of SS and delay, suddenly when you get born again, the first step is register that spiritual consciousness that there is a different DNA a different blood that flows the very blood of Emmanuel you belong to a new family this is not just a spiritual revelation it is truth you operate by a different kind of life the Bible calls it so way it's a quality of life that is above and beyond sickness poverty failure God's very life are you listening to me so tonight we are going to put an end to the effect and the operation of witchcraft and sorcery and idolatry and the works of men enchanters and diviners men who wake up in the morning and will know no sleep until the sons of the kingdom are in bondage but the bible says they know not neither do they understand they say they grow up in darkness and so the earth is without cause have i not said that ye are god and all of you are children of the most high he said but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes for it takes knowledge it takes knowledge tonight i'm angry in my spirit hallelujah because many of you will see that from tonight's meeting suddenly a building that has been there for seven years will be completed in two months you will begin to act under the blessing of your new family you will suddenly find out that there is acceleration there is speed there is grace there is understanding that the people that come to you in your dreams hear me they no longer can come again because you are not the same person the Bible says, he blotting out every handwriting, every ordinance, and he nailed it. He nailed it. He will not do it. It has been done. But it takes faith. And every time faith is released, the power of God goes into performance to cause that the word is validated. 
tonight God is going to be setting us free I see in the spirit that we have been held back I'm telling you many of you will be so surprised many of you will have dreams tonight and you will see the victory that has happened in this meeting in your dreams many of you will suddenly many of you as I minister you will see change in the spirit leaving your loved ones that has been delaying them no job no marriage no money no movement no advancement Bible says but ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free it was known of the Nazarenes that nothing good comes out of them and when Nathaniel was told he said can anything good come out of Nazareth can anything good come out of Nazareth can anything good come out of Nazareth? Can anything good come out of your family? Your father is a carpenter. Your mother is a trader. So what? Do you not realize that the blessing of the Lord has a way of lifting a man above and beyond his job and any limitation and brings him to the point where his life looks like the Garden of Eden? Hallelujah. Tonight we are going to pray. This is the first thing that will happen tonight. And let me tell you, there are many of us that this affects us. Even if not for your sake, for your loved ones. Are you listening to me? Blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance. Your grandfather murdered someone and the blood cries. For heaven's sake, how does that concern you? But until you appropriate the word, you will be a victim of it. Many of you will see that most of the things you call sickness are not sickness. They are activities of demon spirits that take advantage of the covenants and the ordinances of fathers. But by the power of the spirit there is liberty. So that our lives in reality confirm to what the Bible says should be our present status today. It takes an encounter with the power of God. That's why Paul speaking says, when I came unto you, I did not come with the excellency of speech, but in the demonstration of power. That your faith will not rest upon, upon the wisdom of men, but on the power of God. Hallelujah. I see mighty chains. That's what I'm seeing in a vision very mighty chains mighty chains holding homes holding families i'm just telling you what i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit and jesus said the spirit of the lord is upon me he said for he has anointed me to preach glad tidings to the poor to set the captives free to open up the doors of prison for them that are bound and to declare to them the acceptable year of god the year of his favor to give them beauty for ashes and oil of joy instead of mourning that they may be called oaks of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified hallelujah and so we are going to pray listen you are going to pray and appropriate the word of God before the Holy Spirit begins to step in and truly cause emancipation are you listening to me you are going to pray and take the authority of God's word. And you are going to declare and say, I am born again. And that means I refuse consciously the limitations that come from my family, from the lineage. Are you listening to me? That you come from Kaduna State or Plateau State or something. And they said you are all known for drunkenness. If you do not break free, you will be shocked to find yourself doing the exact same things you are claiming you have been free from. But the Bible says the children shall not suffer the iniquity of the fathers. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Are you ready to pray? Take it seriously. We are going to pray. In the next five minutes, I'd like you to pray in your spirit and begin to declare the children 
shall not suffer. Just pray and say, Lord, tonight I open up myself. Enough is enough. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I'm stepping into the grace and the blessing. That lineage of failure, that lineage of delay, that lineage of poverty. Make sure you pray. Pray. Declare that in Christ He has blotted out every ordinance that speaks against me in the realm of the Spirit. It has been blotted out by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Say, Satan, you have no part in my life, no part in my body. Not over my family. Tonight is a night of emancipation For the children Shall not suffer The iniquity of the fathers Hallelujah hey. Listen Listen I see a great sword with fire spinning in the spirit listen and as i begin to declare that sword i see it in the spirit it will literally step in and cut men free are you listening to me as i begin to declare take it off ushers remove those beats from her Remove it and bring it. Remove it and bring it. Bring them. Can you see what I'm saying? Bring it. Bring her here. For if you can come before his presence, you will never be able to approach him. There is fire that stands between me and you. There is fire. You will never be able to come. In the name of Jesus, if I be a servant of God, I command that devil, come out now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She wants to run away. Oh, see how cheap Satan is. Hallelujah. Give me water. Give me water. For if I be a Now. For I declare your freedom. That root, that devilish thing in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the children shall not suffer the iniquity of the parents. Jane, Jane, your name is Jane. Who is Jane? 
Jane. There's, there's no Jane in this place. Come. For your time of freedom has come. Hallelujah. I see something that looks like a rotten egg upon you. Your head. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing. That drives people away from you. That has driven many people away from you. But by the power of the Holy Ghost, be free now. In the name of Jesus, I roll it away from you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is there someone with the name Gabriel? Gabriel. Your name is Gabriel. Gabriel. Inside and outside. Gabriel. I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Hallelujah. Is there someone here from Opobo? You are from Opobo. Quickly come. A lady from Opobo. A lady from Opobo. Who is that person? Please run out. A lady from Opobo. You are from Opobo. Where is your father? There's no mic. Where? Where's your father? What's he doing? He he's a principal. He's a principal. Yes, sir. I see a sword of destruction. Listen. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. That's what I see. A sword of destruction coming upon him. And there are certain blessings that your family should have stepped into by now. Every time your father walks, a lot of people are against him. Is that correct? Yes, sir. So many people. In fact, he's fighting with somebody even over that current position. Yes, is that correct? Yes, sir. Do you know me? No, sir. You see, when God brings this, th these things are satanic and demonic ordinances. But tonight, God sets him free. God sets him free. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I command freedom. Right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. God is touching people. For you will not live after the prophecy of your name, saith the Lord. Tonight he sets you free. Now, in the name of Jesus, freedom for you. Freedom for you. In the name of Jesus. Freedom. Freedom. Freedom for you. In the name of Jesus. Now look at me. I don't know why I'm doing this, but God is instructing me. To. There are some of you, your parents gave you things. Whether things like this or whatever. If you belong to that category inside and outside. Whether you pray in tongues to the roof, just come out. There are objects that have been given to you. By your parents or by some kind of people. Please come out. There are a group of people like that. It's time for God to set you free. Quickly, don't sit down. Don't delay. Don't sit down. Don't delay. Things were given to you. Some of you were taken to the houses of certain people. I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit is giving me instructions. Quickly, don't sit back. I know there's one of you. It was when you were coming into school. You were coming into school. Something was given to you like a coin. That's what I'm seeing. Please come quickly, quickly. Quickly. Let them come out. Quickly, inside and outside. The Lord shows me. Hallelujah. This is not all of them. Please come, especially outside. I see some of you outside. You were given these objects. Come quickly. Hallelujah. Look at me. 
How many of you are in possession of what was given to you? Does any of you have it here? Go and destroy it. Are you listening to me? Go and destroy it from your boxes, from your notebooks, from everything. But I'm going to pray for you. All of you come. Pray for you. That you'll be set free. Blotting out. When Gideon said, where are the miracles that our father said were done? He said, go and destroy the idols. And then you will see those miracles again. I want to pray for you. You are born again. There's no dispute about that. But these are things. When you give Satan entrance, I don't know why God is moving this way. Just let us flow. It's time to deal decisively with some things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The lady raising her hands. Please come, call her. That lady praying, raising her hands. Yes, come. have been oppressed you have been oppressed much Satan has taken advantage of you and you cannot speak it to anyone because of a lot of fear is that true does it make sense what I'm saying do you want to be free tonight do you want to be free you know what I'm saying right does it make sense to you do you want to be free I want you to shout Jesus look at me open your eyes just shout Jesus as loud as you can. Just do what I'm telling you to do. Jesus! <laughs> For it ends in your life. I see a spirit that comes to you at night. Is a woman. I command that devilish spirit to leave you. You have been oppressed. You can't share it with anyone. But you have been oppressed and it's affecting you even in your work I command that you are totally free right now in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah there's someone you have a problem with your truth it has been like uh, like mucus or catar but it has been there for years you're the gentleman come But you know you need to be born again and be very serious with God huh? and stop all the things you are doing do you smoke do you drink what do you do you're working with a company and you cheat them I always having fever when I go to test they will not see anything just if I go to prayer house, they'll say it's attack. You have, you have not just gone to prayer houses. You have gone to all kinds of places. Is that correct? Yes. You have gone to native doctors. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. What did they tell you? They will just tell me, say it's attack. They will tell you it's attack? Yes. Satan will always tell you the problem. He will never give you the solution. Always tell you. It is your mother's husband's brother's sister. So what is the solution? You say, go and come back. Bring cow, bring goat, or bring hundred thousand. You believe you'll be free now? Yes. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Out of him now. Now. In the name of Jesus. you will wake up sound no more sickness in your life just lay your hands on your throat you will literally feel like fire going through it in the name of Jesus mm. <laughs> be free now in the name of Jesus
you will cough once and then you will be free by the power of the Holy Spirit you too the Lord is showing me um okay we'll try to be fast they operated you listen you went through surgery until today the place is still paining you in fact you cannot bend who is that person you went through surgery 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 if, if you are that person just climb up here and wait for me in the name of Jesus I release you in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit please minister to her junk I believe God will show you some other things about her there's no time come Charles even my child God says his wife in the name of Jesus Christ be set free now in the name of Jesus Christ be set free now now in the name of Jesus Christ be set free now what's wrong with you surgery you are the one who went through surgery where how old is that one okay 22. let me pray for you the Lord to give you in the name one. of Jesus I set you free let that pain go now in the name of Jesus who is with the surgery Okay, come. Let the surgery. I command the pain to heal now, right now, instantly, right here, right now. Let the pain heal, let it go. You will search for it and you will not find it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, if you have any growth, lump on your breast, please, instrumentalist, lump on your breast, any cancerous growth, listen, inside and outside. There is an anointing to heal this. And right now in the name of Jesus, I command every lump and every growth to dissolve in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every growth, every lump be gone now, this moment, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Dissolve, be gone in the name of Jesus. Check yourself. Check yourself. Make sure you check yourself. Miracles are happening. Check yourself. Hallelujah. Every blood disease. Blood disease. Blood disease. God wants to heal blood disease. I hear hepatitis B. If you are if you are suffering from hepatitis B, right now where you are, lift your hands inside and outside. If you are suffering from hepatitis B, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I declare, be healed now. I command it to leave your blood forever. Let the power of God touch you. Be free from hepatitis B. In the name of Jesus. Peptic ulcer. If you have any kind of ulcer, lift your hands right now. Ulcer. Ulcer. Any kind of ulcer inside and outside. Any kind of ulcer. Hold on. There are some of you that you literally feel like throwing up every time you eat. And you went to the hospital and they told you there are wounds. Um, I know there are a number of you. At least three of you. They confirm that there are wounds. Who is that person? They told you there, that you have wounds. When you eat, you throw up. Who are you? You come. Hallelujah. Now, because of time, before we give anyone, please, ministers, what will happen is, we'll just move to the crowd. Please move to the crowd by the Spirit and just minister to the people. As I speak to you, the power of the Holy Ghost will come upon you. Make sure you lay your hands on your chest. Lay your hands on your chest. In the name of Jesus, let the power of God touch you now. Let it touch you now. Be free. Let the wound go. 
Let it be healed now. Let the wound go. Let it be healed now. Let the wound go. Be healed now. Let the wound go. Be healed now. Let the wound go. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus. Make sure you check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Rosaline. I'm hearing the name Rosaline. 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 Your name is Rosaline. Rosaline, come. Yes, I'll pray for all of you, but this is the lady I want to see. Come, quickly. Come. For the fire of God has been upon you right from when you were outside. And now let that fire engulf you once and for all permanently. You will step into an unusual level of grace an unusual level of prophetic insight as i touch your eyes fire will fall upon your eyes now in the name of jesus christ that fire will cause you to begin to see visions in the name of jesus rosaline all of the rosaline please come hallelujah just come line up here hallelujah God wants to end delay in your life. That's what I hear. Delay. As I lay my hands upon you, I want you to believe that the power of God sets you free. Delay. Go. Now in the name of Jesus. Delay. Go. Now in the name of Jesus. Delay. Go. Now in the name of Jesus. Go. Now in the name of Jesus. Go now in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Maria. 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 Have you been thinking of marriage? She's laughing. It's always embarrassing by the <laughs> For Jacob prayed a prayer and said, The smell of my son is like the field that the Lord has blessed. I pray that let a fragrance come upon you and that soon enough you will get married in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. silent speak no more and rest hallelujah okay um ear problem god is going to be healing ear problem right now whether partial deafness please if you came with someone who is completely deaf or partially deaf you can put your right hand or if you've had there, there's one of you that feels like there's water in your ears. It has been like that for a long while. Just put your hands there. I want to pray. And take authority over every kind of deafness. Hallelujah. Now in the name of Jesus, I command deafness, whether total or partial deafness, be healed in the name of Jesus. Deaf ears be open. Pop open now. In the name of Jesus. Now check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. I command every deaf ear. Inside and outside. To pop open right now. In the name of Jesus. 
Alléluia. Alléluia. I want to Listen. If you believe what I'm about to speak into your life, you will be very surprised. This is for the ladies, well also for the guys, but mainly for the ladies. The Lord says I should speak over those who want to get married between now and the next two years. Two years. Two years from now is what? 2014. 14. In the name that is above all names. This is for ladies. The Bible says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Don't give me all the excuses in your family. That's none of my business. Hallelujah. You're getting married between now and the next two years. Please lift your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus, every barrier of delay, whether to find the person for you or for the person to find you right now, let the fragrance of favor come upon you in the name of Jesus. Let the fragrance of favor come upon you in the name of Jesus. I separate you from everything that drives people away from you. I drive everything that drives people from you. Sete barataya. As surely as the Lord liveth. As surely as the Lord liveth. As surely as the Lord liveth. Be free. For none shall want her mate. Hallelujah. Now, if any of your loved ones is looking for a job or you are looking for a job in this place, please lift your hands in faith. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, almighty God. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, hey, you are worthy Lord. And by the spirit inside and outside they are ministering to some of you now i command if you are looking for a job or your family member has been driven from jobs in the name that is above every other name or you are even looking for a change of job for yourself or for your loved ones in the name of jesus I release miracle job. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I release it to your family members in the name of Jesus. Miracle job for your father. Miracle job for your mother. Miracle job for your loved ones. Receive it. Receive it. Hallelujah. If there's anyone, listen. If there's anyone that owes your father or your mother or a contract they have done and have not been paid, you will see what God will do for you right now. Are, are you listening to me? For he said, I will restore Kababato Sopa. If your loved ones, maybe is a contractor, or you are owing, whether it's government or an individual, someone is owing your parents, supposed to give them money right now, in the next 14 days, in the next 14 days, I release it in the name of Jesus. In the next 14 days, receive it. In the next 14 days, receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Hallelujah. There are three people here. Your elder brothers were 
were driven from jobs one of you your elder brother is a banker is a banker there was a financial situation you are a lady run out here your miracle is waiting for you for your brother run out with joy and gladness i prophesy that in the name that is above every other name if god be god i call them back to be reinstated with their full benefits in the name of jesus in the name of jesus they will be reinstated with their full benefits according to the word of the lord in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah now we want to release miracle children miracle children listen whether it's your mother or your sisters or you i don't want to know the story even if you don't have a womb you are going to give back hallelujah we had a testimony um where is selena is she here she's not here she would have testified about a family listen for eight years eight years that family was buried and one time we brought prayer requests and we prayed on it and the woman got pregnant with triplets 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 they are all alive i have the cup in my house i have the cup on the plate in the name that is above all names the bible says and he opened the womb of hannah and he opened the womb of rachel receive miracle babies in the name of jesus Miracle babies in the name of Jesus for your loved ones. I release it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Every closed womb in this place, I prophesy according to the hand of the Lord. Let every closed womb be opened now in the name of Jesus. Even if it is as a result of your past and you lost a womb, God is merciful. We give you a brand new wife right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Death. Death. Bible says you shall lend to many nations. There are many parents, families, business people who are in debt. And you are in a kind of debt that only God can deliver you. You know it. Hallelujah. I see someone, your father was involved in something. The exact figure is 476,000. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. 476,000. Your father is owing. Do we have that person here? Hallelujah. If we do not have, we'll just pray. 400. And what did I say? 476,000. That's the exact money. I don't know. It's like, a, it looks like a cooperative society. Or something that he collected money from hallelujah but I pray for any family here that is in the bondage of death listen to me the Bible says in 2nd Kings chapter 4 476,000 exact figure 476 come see how precise the Holy Spirit can be that's the exact amount your father owes or you your father you believe god is a miracle worker do you believe it you will come back and testify i command listen listen there are two people one his name is emeka i see a man called emeka he's going to help your father he will give him two hundred and eighteen thousand. are you listening to me listen to me and then the remaining balance will just come 
some outstanding monies and he will clear it are you listening to me in the name of the lord jesus we pray by the power of the holy spirit that death is cancelled over your father in the name of jesus christ i pray your sister is wedding on the second saturday of august second saturday of august your sister is wedding on the second saturday of august who is that come second saturday exactly second saturday of august your sister is wedding second saturday of august go back and tell her that she should not worry about the money are you listening to me that god will provide the second week of next month god will give them a miracle are you listening to me the second week of next month god will give them a miracle that they should not worry about the money at all for I see that the man is greatly depressed because of finances. And for you, let God put a new fire, let him put a fresh fire in your spirit for the things of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Worship him. All of you come up and hold your hands together. Just play the string, Steve. So, for you will fly like eagles, say the Spirit of God. For you will fly like eagles. You will step into a new level of anointing, a new level of grace. Hallelujah. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is going to move from my right down to my left at the count of three. One. Two, three, receive it now all across in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let the power of God rest upon every one of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Step into new levels of grace, new levels of anointing, new levels of power, media department. All of you come hold your hands together, members of the media department. All the members of the media department, come out, hold your hands together. For you will receive of the spirit of Bezalel and you will begin to function in unusual levels of creativity. At the count of four, the power of God will come upon you. One, two, three, four. Receive it right now from my sister moving down across the head of department receive it in the name of the lord jesus christ great creativity receive it fire upon your brains creativity beyond your capacity these ministers let's begin to flow impartations will begin all of you lift your hands as we move by the spirit the fire of god will begin to fall upon you right now baptisms let gifts be stirred instrumentalists please get on your instruments hallelujah pastor william's wife the lord is speaking to me about an opportunity and a door that will be open that's what God is showing me a door and an opportunity and Lord let the anointing prepare her for that time I see a ring of fire rolling above your head that's what the Lord shows me and father I pray in the name of Jesus on usual levels in the name of Jesus hope on usual level of creativity over your cake there's fire upon you creativity is coming like a ring of fire upon your head in the name of Jesus you will begin to see ideas of cakes in your dreams receive it by the spirit in the name of Jesus now this row 
all of you in this road, just this road, lift your hands. Lift your hands, all of you in this road. At the count of seven, there will be an impartation, the prophetic, the apostolic gifts of healing, diverse gifts to be released. I see an angel is going to move like a sword at the count of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. This road. Receive it. Parabo Sotobai. Receive it. Let it move like fire. Let it move like fire. Across 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 like fire. Like fire. Like fire. It's going to move like a sword. Right now. At the clash of the symbols. Let the power of God move. Now. Move. Now. Move. 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 Across. Behind. Move. Like fire. Behind. Behind. Let the angel move right to the back. Hallelujah. All of you outside. All those outside, lift your hands. There are two angels standing outside. One in front. One at the back. Giant angels. They will move at the speed of light. That's what the Lord shows me. Pariketea. All of you outside. There is a ring of fire. And it will fall upon you. At the count of three. One. Two. Three. Receive it. Receive it. Let it fall. Let it fall. Like fire. Like fire. Like fire. Like fire. Like fire. Like fire. Let it fall. All of you outside. In front. In front. Like fire. Let it fall on you. Upon you like fire in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Steve Strings, the Lord says the doors of the south are open up to you. By the hand of the Lord, the doors of the south are open up to you. You will play and you will see healing and miracles. I see a strong anointing coming upon you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I release it upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen. God is going to increase the supernatural experiences and the visions of people right now. I'm just flowing as God is showing me. Steve Strings is going to begin to play the strings. Listen, the moment that happens, for many of you, instantly, your eyes will be open to the spirit. Your eyes will be open to the spirit. Instantly. Hallelujah. Go ahead and pray, Steve. Let visions, let the portals of visions be unlocked. The young men see vision, see vision, see vision, see Jesus high and lifted up. Better realm of the prophetic accuracy. In vision, be open to the spirit.
Let your eyes be open. 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 Now, hallelujah. Inside and outside. Last week, I believe that they took out time to minister to those who are not filled with the Holy Ghost. But I'm aware that there may still be some people if you are not filled with the Holy Ghost with evidence of praying in tongues wherever you are inside and outside lift your hands. There's no time to explain to you. We'll explain it in another teaching. Now listen. The power of God will overwhelm you I don't need to tell you anything about your mind. There's no time to explain anything. Are you listening to me? And suddenly, the moment that happens, everywhere in this building, let's begin to pray in tongues for the next five minutes. The power of God will come upon you. Release yourself and begin to pray in tongues. The moment I shout receive, you will be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Right where you are, you begin to pray in tongues. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Receive now where you are. Receive. Begin to pray in tongues. Receive. Receive. Begin to pray in tongues. Receive. You're praying already. You're praying in the spirit. Receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost with evidence of praying in tongues. Receive the baptism. Let's begin to pray all over this building. La Boto Patekete. Rekepo Sosopia. Mantos to cross Kepa. Rapata Barekete. Elian Bras Cavalia. Rapoko to Pekete. Reco Bras Kepa. Reco Bros Tosha. Receive, 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 receive like fire upon you. For us, so parikapai. Hallelujah. When the days of signs and wonders, brothers and sisters, I hope you have faith to hear the things that you will be hearing. There is a lady, listen, there is a lady, you have not told this to anybody, listen, you are here, you don't have a fallopian tube, you don't have a womb, totally, there is nothing in you that tells that you are a lady, you have carried, I'm not going to ask you to come out, you have carried this for years, right now, in the name of Jesus, wherever you are a brand new womb brand new fallopian tube is released to you receive it now 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 right now hallelujah now we'll soon round up I know that God has done great things. God has been moving, ministering to people. Stroke, be healed. Amen. Stroke, be healed. Amen. Stroke, be healed. Amen. If you came here with stroke, get up and begin to walk. Do what you couldn't do. If you came here with stroke, get up and begin to do what you couldn't do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are in a relationship. 
and day and night you sleep in the guy's house you sleep with him every time you've aborted many times the Lord shows you mercy tonight but with that mercy comes a strong warning I see you where I'm standing but I will not call you out take caution blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked nor stands in the way of sinners nor sits in the seat of scoffers say but his delight is in the law of the Lord nevertheless the foundation of the Lord standeth sure having this seal the Lord knoweth them that are his and let every man that name the name of Christ depart from iniquity say but in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and of silver but of wood and of clay say some are unto dishonor some are unto honor say if a man will purge separate himself that man will be a vessel unto honor meat for the master's use ladies vow and make up your mind that no man will sleep with you until you are married are you listening to me make up your mind don't say it does not matter make up your mind make a serious decision make a serious decision the Lord shows you mercy tonight the Lord shows you great mercy the Lord shows you mercy hallelujah don't get up and go to a guy's house by 10 a.m. he's calling you by 11 and say come now and you enter his room and see him on boxers even if he's playing Don Muen back out go out say it doesn't matter what is the meaning of that someone is lying down on the bed with boxers and you two you are relaxing and lying down loosely and carelessly 11 30 in the night and he says well just let's just you sleep by this side i'll sleep by that side creflo dollar wrote a book go and buy it playing with fire that's a good book to read hallelujah thank you jesus enough is enough from running away from the lord hallelujah you have been hearing his voice many times but you have hardened your heart for whatever reason and you have struggled and the bible says come unto me all ye that are weary and heavy laden and i will give you rest you're here inside and outside and you're hearing the voice of the Lord tonight. You have seen the works that the Spirit of God is doing. I introduce you to a new life and a new beginning. The Bible says, For God so loved you that He gave His one and only begotten Son that whosoever will believe in Him will not perish but have eternal life. Enough is enough. Do you know these people are under open heavens? They are literally caught up to the third heavens. This is what used to happen in the meeting of one of God's generals called Maria Woodward Eater. She was the one who introduced presence evangelism where people would shock. Look at this girl in her present position. Paul said, I was in the place. I do not know whether in the spirit or in the body. But I saw and I heard things that are not permitted to be said in this realm. Let the Bible come alive unto you. For Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. So inside and outside, I'd like you to leave your seat and run right now. Or you have given your heart to the Lord at one time. But you have found yourself derailing. There is law for you. There is no condemnation. No man condemns you. All of us stand up on your feet. This is the greatest miracle in this place. Everybody inside and outside. Please let's have them out. Jesus is calling you into a new beginning and a new experience. Leave your seat and come out. Appreciate them. Clap for them. Inside and outside. The Lord is calling you into a new life and a new relationship. Run out. Leave your seat and come. God bless you. God bless you. They are coming. God bless you. Appreciate them. Appreciate them. Keep clapping until they come. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. That's why he brought you. Keep clapping for them. Appreciate them. Appreciate them. 
Jesus is calling you. There is a harvest tonight. All of you outside, all of you come to Jesus. Run to Jesus. Ushers direct them. Run to Jesus. It's a new beginning. He will give you a new life. He will give you a new life. Oh, oh, oh. Run to Jesus. The Lord is calling you. Some of you are still seated. God is calling. Leave your seats and come. Leave your seats and come. It doesn't matter what you have done. God still loves you. Young and old. Leave your seat and come. will be written in the Lamb's Book of Light tonight. Hallelujah. Please just say, Dear Lord Jesus. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I come to you today knowing that I'm a sinner. I ask that you forgive me for my sins. Cleanse me from all my sins. I receive the salvation that comes from you. I accept the finished work you've done from today I'm born again I'm the child of God in the name of Jesus father we pray in the name of Jesus please just lift up your hands okay as I pray with you father I ask that Lord in the name of Jesus Christ you establish them I pray that God you will cause them to walk with your spirit let your spirit rest with them I ask that the angels of God will walk with them help them to grow in you I ask for your hunger for your word and a hunger for prayer, Lord. I ask that God, you will help them have a vital fellowship with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. We welcome you to the biggest, the greatest family. God's own family. God's own family. I don't know who you are, but Jesus loves you. Are you listening to me? I don't know who you are, but Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. This is the beginning of a new start for you. Look at me. Never leave him. He will make the best out of you. Do you understand? It doesn't matter what you have done. He will make the very best. Forget about the past. Forget about yesterday. You are not the same person yesterday. For you have done many things. Say the Lord. But he forgives you. And you will still be famous, but for a different reason. That's what the Lord says I should tell you. You will still be famous, but for a different reason. Look at me. The Lord says I should tell you, for many will be surprised that you are born again. And it will make many to come to the Lord. Many will be surprised. Father, thank you preserve them. Brothers and sisters, look at me, all of you. This is the greatest decision. Are you listening to me? I love every one of you. I wish we can walk and hug all of you one by one. Listen, do not leave Jesus, not for anything. Not for anything. Make sure this is not just an emotional decision that you are making because of the miracles you have seen. Hallelujah. This is called power evangelism using signs and wonders to bring you to Jesus. Are you listening to me? But I need you to love him more than that. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salman. 
and that is I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with this commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye